Happy Saturday. What do you do when you get up this early in the morning? You go to a cross country meet. Come join us for our adventure. Hi, I'm JT. And I'm DT. And these are our adventures. Join us as we travel, as we help our community, and just enjoy life. One way we help our community is we're officials, we're timing officials for cross country meets for the local high schools. And this morning we have one of the bigger events uh, in the city. We'll have about 16 teams, about 700 athletes. Um, we'll have a great time with them. Uh, we'll run around a park, Chamizal National Park. I'll give you a little short little tour of that as we uh, go out throughout the day. But this is one of the other things that we do to help. So while JT runs the stopwatch, I make all the announcements and I keep score on my computer. We had about four races that day. And it was a beautiful crisp morning. About 150 to 200 athletes per race. It was a, it was a great time. And now as we visit the memorial... Oh, it's been such a want, long time since we've been here, JT. Yeah, we used to go come here in the summer times uh, uh, and listen to concerts and, and that. Here's their uh, band bowl. It's a nice little park meadow uh, with a stage. Yeah, they used to have 35,000 um, out here for the music under the stars. I met with the ranger earlier, and they were telling me that now between 2,000 to 5,000 show up nowadays. Still a great time in the summer. Here's oh, the, the murals on the outside of the visitor center. Yeah, El Paso is known for a lot of beautiful murals. And as we walk in, uh, there's some monuments to look at, uh, some great history. Yeah, um, the National Park is a com site is commemorates the peaceful settlement of the Chamazal boundary between El Paso and Mexico. So this used to be the international boundary. Um, it's probably moved several times. I don't yeah. think it was actually there. <laughs> but it's still fun to step on each side. But now as you look out on the park, you actually, on one end of the park is uh, an international bridge, and on the other side is Mexico. You're basically a stone throw away from Mexico. Yeah, inside the the center is um, lots of historical information uh, between El Paso and Mexico. And there's some really great history. Uh, El Paso it has some great history to, to learn about. It's always kind of neat to find out about what actually happened, not just, you know, the stories we see on TV. Yeah. And, of course, I have to go to the visitor center and pick up another um, metal bottle. Yeah, we like to do that at all of our national parks. We want to support them, and that gift shop actually helps them very uh, a lot. T-shirts, knickknacks, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Inside, there's some beautiful bronzes. Uh, this one, uh, an eagle flying, and then a uh, soldier, a uh, very decorated soldier um, from uh, the First World War. Yeah, it's just um, really neat to just go around and visit and just learn about the history. Now, this site, this uh, area right here is a temporary installation of their uh, center, and this is the entrance into, uh, off to the right, to their... Uh, Performing Arts Center. Yeah, they have that Chopin Festival coming up. Yeah, um, hopefully maybe we can make a date night of one of those. Yeah, I'd love that. So this ends our adventure for today. We uh, officiated at a cross-country meet. It was a great experience. We had over 750 athletes today. Um, and it's at this beautiful Chamazal National Memorial. It's a park dedicated to the fine arts and also the cooperation between the United States and Mexico on a land uh, deal when they made a channel for the Rio Grande. So join us in our next adventures.